Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hampton University uh, Press Conference. Coach, uh, if you can introduce your players and then follow by opening statement, please. Uh, you got Charles Wilson Fisher, senior from Los Angeles, California, Malik Trent Street, uh, senior from Portsmouth, Virginia. Uh, <clears throat> I thought we played a 40 minute ball game tonight, and I think that that was the difference. Uh, we, showed a, we showed a focus that we wanted to put to play for a championship game tomorrow. I'm so proud of these two young men, but I'm, I'm, I'm more proud for the entire team uh, to, work, to work and get to this point. Uh, the, last, the last game we lost was to a and and we had a come to Jesus moment in our locker room, and, 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 and we discussed some things, and we said that if <clears throat> we could do the things that we need to do mentally and physically, we could be at this point that we could play for a championship. And I, I, I think all of we're showing the, 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 the fruits of our labor now. Uh, but again, I thought we I thought we played as good as good as we can play tonight to, to seal this ball game. Questions for the floor. I thought there was probably a time when Jermaine would have been in what he was. You guys were really struggling. Um, how much does this say about how this team has developed? Well, again, it, it says a lot. Uh, uh, the first thing that, that we that we've been able to do is actually define rules. And again, uh, this young fella right here. He, he, <laughs> He, he's as talented as Jermaine. They're equally talented. And it's good that you can have two guys that you can put the ball <clears throat> in their hands and, and you know something positive is going to happen. And, and I'm not going to sell short Kalen Fisher. It's just his talented. You know, the, those three guys, when you put the ball in their hands, I know some good things are happen. And then when you got Charles and Trayvon and them finishing around the rim the way that they are, it, 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 make, it can make the game look easy. At points, we could go through spurts where we don't have to call a bunch of plays. We don't have to. We can put it in their hands <clears throat> and allow them to make a play. Malik, uh, when he was out, you, you played point a lot, so it's nothing new. When he's out, what do you think you have to do any different? I mean, I think I just got to be more aggressive. And also, I know like when Jermaine go out, we don't need to panic. We're a good team. We practice every day. We're against each other, so it's like it's just like practice. I mean, we go at each other hard enough to compete, so that we compete at a higher level in the game. So I mean, it's just it's the same, man. We don't we don't stress when Jermaine go out. We just we just keep our poise and we just keep playing as a team. So Luke Williams from the Black House Sports Face Coach uh, is the play of these guys the difference in how you played earlier and turning it on to win 10 straight? Are they, are they two of the main reasons? Um, there, are two, there, there are two big reasons, but I, I can't stress enough the play of Akeem Mitchell, the play of Trayvon Barnes, the play of these two, the play of Kalen Fisher. You know, we went through a point in the season where we said, let's not concentrate on what Jermaine does. Let's concentrate on what we can do as a team. Or as, as the, the young kids say today, if we're playing together and we play as a team, you will all eat. There's enough food for everybody. And that's what they're showing now. Like Malik says, there is no stress. It's next man up. I don't care who it is. Charles, you were very active at the start. Um, and also a lot in the transition, transition game. Uh, sort of talk about your night and what you were, you were hoping to, to do out there. Um, the coaches just laid out a very good game plan. They said to get out and run. Um, once I got on the court, I saw the bigs couldn't stay with me. So as far as transition, just using my athleticism to get up and down the court. And the activity is just the passion, wanting to win. It's my last year. I wanted to go out and go out with these guys in a special way. So that's just passion. That's hard. You can't, I, I can't even say enough about that. Charles, how hard has it been to kind of wait to get this kind of opportunity to play the minutes and get the kind of production you got this year? Um, I learned a lot over my first couple of years on just how to win and what it takes when you get to this stage to win. So the difficulty, I would say, is, is not really there because it was a learning experience before when I was young. I might not be able to handle that right then. So it's been, been crucial to learn. And let me add some little bit of that for Charles. Y'all got to understand, Charles has been in three postseasons, two NCAA tournaments and a CBI. <coughs> Charles, one man that, that is one young man that things have been unfortunate. He's played minutes for us before. Every time he's played minutes, something has happened. A meniscus, a shoulder, 
but it, I'm happy for him because now he's getting to, to sustain what he's doing for the entire season. He's actually played minutes for us before, and something has always derailed him. But now he's shown, he's that, these two right here, what I will give them, they're the only two seniors I got. So they're showing senior leadership at the right time. I mean, it's funny, but I mean, I'm always cool, man. <laughs> I'm always cool, man. And, and we, believe it or not, we, we, we preach as a team. In timeouts, I can hear them in timeouts the next four minutes. Next four minutes. Every day in practice, we, sit, we play four-minute games. And we go through every situation possible. And the way that they performed in practice, why would they panic out there? It's just basketball. And that's the way that they look at it. It's just basketball. So I think that's the, you, you're seeing their composure out there now because of what they put in in practice. You've got to face a much lower seed either way. Do you guys feel like favorites going into this? Or we feel like we won a championship. We, it really doesn't matter. This time of year, it is no high seed. It is no lower seed. It's, it's 13 teams, as I tell them all the time, 13 teams coming in saying they want to win a championship. 11 of them lying. So if we want to win it, we got to be true to ourselves, true to what we do, and we got to handle the adversity and go get it. They've handled the adversity thus far, but we still got one more game to get. To answer your question, no, we don't feel like, like favorites. We feel like we got something to prove. So did it come to Jesus' moment, uh, turn, to, turn things around for you? Yes, it did. I, I think the guys understood what I wanted, but I'm not also the kind of coach that I like to hear them talk. I like to have their input. We all gave our input. So not only did I tell them to look at themselves, I had to look at myself. I had to look at what I was doing. I had to look at what my coaches were doing. We all looked at each other. We all talked about it. And we said when we left that locker room that winning was the only thing that mattered. And then, again, we should be showing it now, but we got one more game to go. Any other questions? Please, no. <laughs> Coach, congratulations on tonight's <laughs>